Yeah, and now to the midterms and your money. What result is best for investors? Jonathan Honig, hedge fund manager at CapitalistPig.com is here. Jonathan, good morning. Great to be with you, Cheryl. Thank you. You know, whether it's pharma, banks, tech, industrials, even some of the consumer names that we follow, there is going to be an impact either way. What is, oh, yeah. your, what is your best case scenario for investors? Well, historically, the markets should be up a year from now, Cheryl, no matter who wins the elections today. I promise you, these results, however, will move markets. As I said, historically, it's bullish. On average, since 1946, markets are up 100 percent of the time after the midterms one year later, regardless of who wins. But I think, Cheryl, this time it is different. I mean, we are now nine years in to a historic economic expansion. And from everything from the horrible October we had in the stock market to trade and tariffs and interest rates, innumerable factors facing this economy in particular. That's why these elections are so important. One of the things that could happen with gridlock, and this could be good, for, is for the pharmaceutical sector. Because even though the president has talked about uh, limiting and controlling rolling drug prices if it is is believed and Goldman Sachs has talked about this that if that actually if we do get a blue wave for the house in particular that that means that pharmaceutical prices will stay the same and that is a good thing for that sector do you agree well, yeah, there's few sectors that are as impacted by what happens in Washington than pharmaceuticals, as you said. And interestingly, Cheryl, even as uh, technology stocks and even some of the material stocks, automo automakers have been selling off pharmaceuticals. Merck just had a new 52-week high in the last couple of days. Pfizer's also, also been doing well. So we're seeing some rotation into those more, as to say, uh, stable, mm -hmm. if you will, parts of the economy, right. like pharmaceuticals, as election jitters it, continue it to grow. It seems like, though, really, when it comes to technology and the Internet names, that it's really not going to matter what happens today and, and tomorrow morning, because either way, regulation seems to be on the table, whether it's in Europe or in the United States, for, for the FANG stocks in particular. Is that kind of the, the correct assessment there? Yeah, I mean, that's really, I think, my fear. A lot of market participants' fear is that it's the technology yeah. stock, Cheryl. They have been the leaders. But even yesterday, we saw more 52-week lows than 52-week highs. If those tech stocks, and again, Apple now in correction territory, if tech, if Amazon, if Facebook can't get off the mat, I, I think it's going to be very difficult, regardless of who wins today, for this market to put some legs. And as you said, the fact that regulation almost seems inevitable for companies that have enjoyed relatively little uh, regulation thus far means right. this election is even more important. I will tell our viewers. If you really want to start geeking out tonight, you can watch the futures after 6 p.m. Eastern time because we're going to actually start to get results, whether it's Kentucky, Indiana, that after that it's going to be Virginia, Georgia, Florida. All of those states are going to kind of give us a sense early on of where we're going to go overnight. And I think that's going to be an early indicator. And we will cover it. We'll cover it right here. We will. All right. We'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Jonathan Honig, thanks for being here, Jonathan. Appreciate it. You will, Cheryl. Thank you.